In order to make your presentations available to teachers and students, you need to publish your Prezi. From the Your Prezi's page, click on the Prezi you wish to make available. Notice on the right side the word private with a picture of a red lock. This means no one but me can view this Prezi. If we click the down arrow next to private, we get some more options. The first option, public and allow copy, allows others to see my Prezi and also allows them to save a copy of it. The next option is public, which lets others view the Prezi, but does not let them save a copy of it. And finally, private only allows me to view the Prezi. Let's choose public. And then click the up arrow to get rid of the options. This is very practical for teachers who want to make their presentations available for students so they can study or catch up on work if they are sick or absent from class. When your Prezi is set to public or public and copy, you can also share it via the internet. Find Share on the right side under your Prezi. When we change our Prezi to Public or Public and Copy, we also get more options for sharing it via the Internet. We do not see those options here because everything has not been reset yet from changing the publishing option. To make those other options appear, scroll back to the top and click your Prezi's. Now click on the Prezi that you want to make available again. Let's scroll down and see if those options are now there. They are. Click anywhere in the share box. The URL provided can be copied and then pasted in an email to whomever you like. Underneath the URL are four more options. The first option will tell Prezi to send the above link to the email addresses you provide. You can also add a personal note. The next two are Facebook and Twitter. Clicking on these will send you to their website's login page and will then place the link on those pages. Embed gives you the HTML code to embed your Prezi to a wiki or blog site. So, now you can send the link to your Prezi to the email of any student who missed the presentation, or you can embed it on your classroom blog.